Hi everyone, I just wanted to give a little bit of my interpretation of what's going on in our market. Everyone's asking me, you know, what are the values doing, what's happening, and so just kind of wanted to pass along what I'm seeing. As many of you know, I'm, I'm pretty data-driven, so we went ahead and created kind of a, a visual for y'all to see, which we will include as well. I'm also comparing this because a lot of people are bringing up 2008. So, you know, right away, this isn't 2008, um, at least from the start, you know, what is going to happen? No one has that crystal ball, but just some some good comparisons from, you know, year over year comparing 2008 to now. In March of 08, we had 25,000 plus homes on the market. Last March, 7,341. So a lot of it at the end of the day comes down to supply and demand. And right now we're coming from a very strong market with very little inventory and a lot of buyer demand, okay? So we've had some breathing room in our market just as far as supply and demand goes. In 2008, we had 2,398 homes go pending. In March, this past March, 4,439 homes go pending. In March of 08, we only had 1120 sales. In March of 2020, 3,204 properties closed. Now, a lot of the closings that happen in March are from January and February, right? Pre-coronavirus. So what's going to continue to happen? Am I expecting to see the sales fall? Yeah, absolutely. We've lost contracts. Some of our buyers are you know, no longer able to purchase just with the strengthening of the criteria in the lending world um, over time. That will loosen up again as our market you know, shifts. Who knows how long that's going to take though. Um, but all of our sellers that unfortunately, you know, we had some contracts fall out, um, but all of those deals that we had lost, we've been able to replace them all with new buyers and the values of those contracts haven't changed. So the contracts that we put under in the end of February, beginning of March, towards the end of March, or even beginning of April, some of those we lost just because, again, the lending criteria shifted. Maybe people lost their jobs. When we put those back on the market, we didn't have to take a value hit for our sellers. We actually got some of them back under contract higher. So what am I seeing right now? I'm definitely seeing that our pendings, the data will be out in about another two weeks for April's numbers. I'll do another update then. Um, so are our pendings going down? Yes. Have I seen our values dip? Not yet. Will they? Don't know. Um, but because we went into this with such low inventory and such buyer demand, you know, like I said, it leaves us a little breathing room. Um, so take a look at the graph. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, if you want us to break this down for zip codes in your specific markets, we'd be happy to. But also, you know, a lot of people are, are saying, you know, when we're in a recession, you know, how that impacts the housing market. In three of the last five recessions, we've actually seen housing appreciation, so not depreciation. So time will continue to tell. I'm expecting our pending sales. I think the stats are going to be about 20% fewer homes going pending. Like if we had 3,200 pendings close in March, I might have expected to see about 3,800 with the way our market was really ramping up. But we're still right now staying steady and staying strong. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call.